Hey guys, welcome back to Chef Talk and welcome back to a Chef Talk movie review. Before we get into that review though, a quick admin note, if you haven't done so already, please remember to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon to get notified whenever my videos go live. Also, I do have social media. All those links will be down below. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Now, let's get onto my review of the Mauritanian. Mauritanian. Mauritanian was directed by Kevin McDonald and was written by Michael Broner, Harry Rines, and Sohab Nosorinia. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that name. The Mauritanian stars Tahar Rahim, Jodie Foster, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Cheyenne Woodley. Quick synopsis, Mohamedou Salah is detained by the U.S. government without being charged with a crime and stashed away in Gitmo to be, in, to be imprisoned and tortured. The Mauritanian stars starts streaming on February 12th and has a runtime of 2 hours and 9 minutes with a rating of R. I know this seems to be a running thing for me in current movies, but when I saw the offer for the screening of this movie, I had no idea what it was about. I saw that it had Jodie Foster and Benedict Cumberbatch, and I was like, sure, it's been a while since I've done a movie review, let's check this thing out. Wow, did I not know what I was getting myself into with this movie. It is based on the true story of Mohamedou Salah, or Salih, who was picked up and transported to Gitmo and held without being brought up on charges. This movie centers around Nancy Hollander taking up his case and fighting the government to release the documents they have on her client and to bring this matter to the light of day. We also get to, we also get to see through, the eye, through Mohamedou's eyes as well. We get to see him brought to Gitmo and the treatment and interrogation he suffered in the first years he was there. And we see flashbacks to his earlier life and how certain events really went down and how they relate to what's transpiring in Gitmo. The movie does not hold back in the slightest. It shows all the grueling techniques they used on Mohamedou to get him to confess the things he did not commit. I'm sure what they showed us on camera was barely the tip of the iceberg. Um, but man, I don't know how anyone could survive or even come out of that in one piece. But we also see Nancy and her associate Terry and how the case affects both of them. For Terry at first she is warm and friendly with Mahamadou until she reads some of the things that he confesses to not realizing what, went, what he went through before signing his name to those papers. Nancy on the other hand is a no-nonsense woman that knows she has a job to do and will do it no matter what things may come to light. But after reading the file, she has, she too has a moment of realizing that the things that happening, the things happening in Gitmo, are not on the up and up. We even get a glimpse into the military lawyer's side as well, with uh, with <laughs> with Benedict Cumberbatch playing Stu, who is in charge of getting Mohamedou to court and convicted and sentenced to death. But just like Nancy, Stu is also not given all the information and knows that without the full details, there is no way he can get a conviction. But when all that information comes out, Stu is put in a position of trying, of trying someone he knows confessed under duress or protest the handling of Mohamedou's case and risk losing his career. I'm just going to say, like, I think the performance of these actors gave were I'm just going to say it. I think the performance the, all these actors gave was very good. Tahar Rahim gave, uh, did an outstanding performance playing Mohamedou and just getting all those emotions crossed that he was feeling. Jodie Foster kind of plays a role that she has played before and seems comfortable in. This takes no nonsense to get the job done kind of woman that deep down really does have a heart of gold and wants to do the right thing by the people she is defending. Now hearing Benedict Cumberbatch with a Southern American accent Took some getting used to, but I have to say he held a, he had a solid performance in this film. So for cinematography, I'm just going to come out and say it. I was stationed in Gitmo two times, and what we were shown in this movie is not Gitmo. Not even close. I know that we really can't film there, and um, I know that we can't really film there, but man, you can pull up some pictures of, on Google and see what the base and the surrounding area looks like. And they did not do anything like that for this mo for this movie. Um, they could have at least tried a little bit better, but it just no bueno, no good. When we aren't on Gitmo, we are treated to what we what you would expect from an 
when we're when we aren't on Gitmo, we are treated to what we would expect from an investigation that deals with classified information. Lots of rooms with no windows, or office buildings with their windows covered up, with the occasional trips home. So there really isn't much in the way of cinematography here, except for me bitching about what they got wrong with Gitmo. Overall, I was highly impressed with this movie, barring the fact that how they shot Gitmo. I'm still harping on it. They really get you feeling for Mahamadou and make me want to pick up the book he wrote while he was sitting in Gitmo. I've said it before and I'll say it now, we always have to take these based on true stories with a grain of salt, but I think their true purpose is to get you to start looking into the history, what, to start looking into the history and do your own research to see what really happened. And for me, this movie does just that. I've already been looking up information on Mahamadou Salih and will probably pick up his book as well. I think this is a movie that all Americans should probably watch. This is a dark time in our history where we as citizens looked the other way, trusting our government was doing the right thing with those detainees down in Gitmo, and that just wasn't the case. With all that being said though, Shep Talk gives the Maturian four Sheps out of five. And that is all I have time for today. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you did like this video, check out this video over here. I'm sure you'll like it just as well. But that is all I have time for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.